Today we're going to draw a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. All you need today is a pencil, a piece of paper, and something to color with. Today I am using crayons, but use whatever you have. Paints would be awesome for this. I'm just going to draw a little Charlie Brown tree. And to do that, I'm going to start at the bottom with the base, something for my tree to sit in. I'm going to start right here. So here's the bottom of my page. It's just jumping up a little bit, putting a little dot. And I'm going to draw a curve line over here. Then I'm going to go back to that first line, first dot, sorry, where I started my line. I'm going to come in diagonally a little bit, go back to the second spot where I stopped, come in diagonally a little bit, and then join those together. Then I'm going to just draw a design. So here I'm going to draw kind of a wavy line. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to draw a few circles. And then a straight line, you can be as creative as you want here, using lines to create nice little designs is a great way to decorate your pot for your tree. I am then going to go all the way to the top where my star is and draw a star. To draw a star, I find the easiest thing to do is draw a dot, draw a diagonal line down, and then the other side, diagonal line. Then I like to go to this line here and draw a bit of a diagonal. Something is underneath my page here. Go to this line and do the same thing, diagonal, come in, in, another diagonal, diagonal, everything is a lot of diagonal lines. And you can see sometimes it doesn't go according to plan, so you just erase and just fix it the way you like it. I find if um, you can see I'm pushing fairly hard on my pencil so that you can see, but if you push fairly lightly on your pencil, then you can always go back and fix what you don't like. So once you have your star, then you're going to go from your star all the way down to your pot. Do it again, leaving a little space. There we have it. And I'm going to go back to the top I'm going to draw a curve line and it's going to come out and then back in and it's fairly short and the next one's going to be a little bit longer so I'm going to jump and leave a space come out a little bit further and back in I'm going to do that again I'm going to jump and go a little bit further come out a little bit further and back in I'm going to jump again go a little bit further come out and back in and a little bit further come out and in now, you can see my tree is very thin. It's like a Charlie Brown tree, right? Not a lot to it, but you could do whatever you want. You could draw more or less it's up to you. Now you can see on the other side, I'm doing the exact same thing. So I'm just, just like symmetry. I'm trying to make it look symmetrical. Not always perfectly easy, but just doing my best. Symmetry is the same on one side as it is on the other. I'm not sure my tree looks the same on one side as it does on the other. And because I used a pencil, I can just go erase what I don't like, fix it up. So that's what I'm going to do. Just extending all these little branches here. Just making them, trying to make them symmetrical. Then I'm just going to use circles. Decorate randomly some smaller, some larger, beside each other, far away just randomly placing them. Go ahead and put your decorations just sitting on top here any way that you would like, as many as you want, as few as you want. And then the fun part comes the coloring. So if you're using paint, go ahead. Markers, go ahead. I'm using some crayons. And if you're using markers or paint, you can always erase the lines when you're done. Crayons, is a, crayons are a little bit harder to do that. But all I'm going to do is go ahead and color everything in. When you are coloring or painting or using marker, you do want to try to get in and make sure there aren't any white spots. That will just make everything look a little bit nicer. Color away. And 
when you're all done, you will have the perfect Charlie Brown tree. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.